among others undoubtedly informative speeches and panels, I would like to highlight a panel discussion on consumer payments, Asia versus the world. This panel was highly informative as the speakers' businesses are competitors in some understanding, still open to share knowledge with each other. Mr. Akita Takashi is the CEO of SBI Ripple Asia. He explained why challenges they made in CoinTap in Japan considering it's still a very cash-heavy country. Most people in Japan still use their bank cards only for withdrawing money to then make their payments in cash. Pavel Matviev, CEO of Firex, shared the experience considering their cards are both popular in Asia and in Europe, though European citizens are of course used to digital assets in many forms. Though he says a very big potential in Japan based on the number of Firex cards ordering there. Meg Nakamura also shared her overview on the consumer payments of ship payments in America. Also, there was Goran Abramovich, who is a CEO and co-founder of Own Solutions and who is an extensive experience in digital payments in transaction integrity and transaction infrastructure. The overall conclusion all speakers agreed on is an importance of improving of the user experience. Implemented incentives, bonus programs, creative, more friendly software and apps will finally help Japan on the way of a cashless society. From my point of view, this panel was very representative of the whole event. Japan is super developed in some spheres because it has its own direction in technology. Something they had implemented already still didn't happen to the rest of the world. But it's definitely more challenging when it comes to introducing these innovations to an average consumer. In contrary, European and American markets are more competitive, so sometimes that could be really toxic for financial startups. But on the other hand, the consumers are very loyal to the new technological options. So it can all come true with the help of the collaborations and partnership which are established during such events. I'm super happy I made it to FinSum 2018 and I hope I will be there to watch and follow the trends in the next year. I'm fully aware that not everybody can go to the other parts of the world to participate in such events. Also, I'm very excited that I have a chance to present you with this type of content which is very rare to find in English and I'll try to cover more of professional events in the sphere of blockchain, crypto and professional IT spheres. So if you're interested in this type of material, please stay tuned. So I have more news to share with you. This video is made in a collaboration with Crypto Central. For me, Crypto Central is cutting edge media company, which provides a very different angle on all the news happening in the blockchain world. And I'm very happy to be in this partnership with them. I hope you will find our partnership and our collaborated videos useful for you because we have a long list of videos coming for you this year and of course if you like this video please put a like in here subscribe to this channel and share this video with someone who is very interested in blockchain and have a nice day